Welcome to Electron Line, and in order to understand the two concepts, union and intersection, a little bit better, let's go ahead and take another look at it. All right, so now we have a sample space right here with the numbers 1 through 8, and we have two what we call events. So this is called the sample space. These are events. A, the event A has numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. These are possible outcomes for event A, and this is event B. Here are the possible outcomes for event B, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice that a is a subset of the sample space, and B is a subset of the sample space. And if you look careful, A and B have some elements in common. These are also known as elements. And notice that in the case of A and B, the element 3 is common and the element 4 is common. So they're not independent. They are dependent because they have some common elements. So what do we mean by A union B? It helps sometimes to substitute the word union for the word or. A or B. If the element belongs in A or it belongs in B, it's part of the union. So when you write A union B, all the elements that belong in A or they belong in B, they become part of the union. Now let's write some of the numbers down in here. With A, we have the numbers 1 and 2, which are not common to B. The numbers 3 and 4 are common to B. And the numbers 5 and 6 are only part of B and not part of A. But in the union, or the word or, all the elements that belong to either A or B are part of the set, which means the whole thing is part of A union B. So we know that A union B is equal to the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the best way to think of it is, does it belong to A or belongs to B, then it's part of the union. When we talk about the intersection, there we can substitute the word and. So it's a logic symbol and. For it to belong to the intersection, it must belong to both A and B. So maybe it must belong to both. Maybe I'll add the word both. It must belong to both A and B to be part of the intersection. So here again, for A, we have 1 and 2, 3 and 4. We know 3 and 4 are common to B. And then we have 5 and 6 in B. That's not common to A. So, what are the elements that belong to both A and B? Well, it's only those two that are in common. So, therefore, we can think of A intersection B is equal to the two elements, 3 and 4, because only 3 and 4 belong to both A and to B, and therefore, they're part of that intersection. And hopefully, that helps clear it up for you.